When you turn on your computer, you're going to look at what we call the desktop. In the case of uh, Macintosh, it, this image here, which I have a picture of East Texas rolling hills, is called a finder. And the finder is just the backdrop or, or the desktop that you're looking at. Down below in my Macintosh, I've got what's called the dock. And all the programs that I have set on the dock will open just by clicking on them so that I can have a quick access to those programs. Here's Adobe Illustrator. It's already opened on the dock, so if I click on this twice, it will open up and we'll get going. But to go back to even more basic than that, if you're on a PC or you haven't set that up on your uh, Mac dock, you can go into your hard drive. And I'm going to click on my hard drive here, click, click, and it opens up and I'm finding my applications. I click on the applications, click click, and I want to find Adobe Illustrator CS4. It's right here. So I open that up again, double click, click click, and here is the button that if I click on that button and drag it down and put it in my dock, it will remain there, which I've already done. But if it's not there for you and you haven't set it in your dock or you haven't had a, a way to open it, easily go into your applications and now just click on this button twice click click and it launches illustrator and the, it takes some time for it to come through here it is saying we're launching and it's giving you some information that you really don't need but eventually it will open up and um, ask you to get going in adobe illustrator now this particular window that opens up is like a index of things that you've done in the past since we haven't done anything in the past it's not necessary at the time so i'm just going to shut it off by hitting this little red button up here and it uh, it goes away what i'm seeing is the illustrator information around the edges and i'm still looking back at the um, desktop here with my um, applications in adobe illustrator uh, I can go back to that and see I click on it, I'm back in the finder and I don't need that anymore so I'll just uh, close it and then here I've got Adobe Illustrator opened up and I'll click back on that and here I am with Adobe Illustrator. Now again the tools and the menus and the palettes are on the side there isn't anything there yet so our first job is to get a new page so I go up to file and new for a new page and it uh, will ask me some questions about this new page. Do I want to name it? Yes, it's already blued. If it wasn't blue, then you can click and drag and blue it. But I'm going to name it test underscore one. I want to make sure that my units are in inches. Sometimes it will open up and you'll be in points or something else. Be sure they're in inches and you have eight and a half by 11 size. It, the size is, is, is referred to as letter size. That's 8.5 by 11 paper size. Also here, the orientation is vertical or, or portrait. As, this, as uh, The other choice would be horizontal or landscape. We want this one. And now the other information, we'll check on that later. But uh, having named it, check my units, uh, and that we're at the right orientation, I hit OK. Now that brings up what's called a artboard. This is a Illustrator document, and the artboard is eight and a half by eleven. And as it sits there, we have the beginnings now to get started with uh, a project or whatever we're working on in Illustrator. And that's how you open and get a new page to work with.